Hey there. A couple or a viewer asked about um, since I can go into people's energy past people that have died, celebrities or just whoever, I um, I don't do it that often. Like I did it for Tupac and um, that was the other person I did. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because uh, I saw him as Genghis Khan. I don't know if he thinks he's Genghis Khan or no, that Tupac. I'm sorry, P. Diddy. He feels like he's got Genghis Khan energy. Uh, and so, uh, but Tupac was very chatty. He still talks to me when I ask and he wants, he's oh so much to say. Um, entertainment purposes only, but I think P. Diddy had something to do with him exiting this world. Tupac didn't pull the trigger, but I think he had something to do with him. Anyway, Genghis Khan felt like he could rule the world, which he kind of did for a while. So that's what P. Diddy wanted. Just got sucked up into the ego and to the uh, sensual nature of life. And he had a lot of money and he didn't know what to do with all of it. So, okay. So today I'm going to look into Janis Joplin and Jim Morrison. Now Janis Joplin, well, Chris Christopherson, I, you know, just died. And, um, he wrote me and Bobby McGee Her rendition was so soulful. She's just so, so much depth to her. So I've always I've been interested in her and uh, and her personality. So I uh, got into her energy, and I vaguely vaguely remember she grew up in Texas, I think. Um, so when I got into her energy, it's really weird because I feel like I'm swaying, like, but like drunk hi, something like I'm not in my right mind. And when I see people, I feel people on the other side, you know, their ego is gone. And it's, but I also can tune into their experience here. And we can chat about what they learned and that kind of stuff or what they were meant to learn and maybe some past lives. So that's where I'm going to go with her. And um, as I did this a little bit before I started recording, um, I felt the swinging and the high and then rocking like I feel like she's being rocked like a baby um, and maybe that has something to do with this feeling I don't think it's rock and roll I feel like it has something to do with the feeling or something she missed out she wanted to regain that in, in adulthood through drugs or alcohol and she wanted to have this feeling of being cared for, which I, as an, you know, Neptune, um, and strong in a person's chart, uh, can make a person kind of get lost in illusion and addiction. And also it's the high level of spirituality and religion and that sort of stuff. But on the low end, it's dark, you know, like feeling sorry for yourself and depression and that sort of thing. And, Everybody has different challenges and opportunities to use it, depending on what you want to do. Uh, but she, I looked, I felt like she was royalty before. I immediately was brought at a time where she was a king or a queen, maybe a queen. I think she was a queen. And I asked why, what was this life about? And she's like, um, to live rough and love and friendship to learn about those more intimate things because I think before when she was a person of royal stock she didn't have that opportunity to be close to anybody um, so she's very sensitive in this life and she's learning about love and she's learning how to be loved and what it is to love um, because I get this sense when she was a child there wasn't a lot of love there and she was had the sense of abandonment. I feel like a sense of abandonment. I have zero knowledge. The only thing I know about is Texas. That's it. So I knew she was depressed later and, you know, when she was an adult and when she was singing. But I also saw her digging, had a, um, a skinny shovel. It wasn't a big fat shovel. It's like a steak shovel, like she's making posts for a fence or something where she had to dig narrow holes. And she was younger. 
and I, th- I'm feeling like I'm in that energy and like, she didn't want to be that anymore. Like she had a choice. That was like a pivotal time. I don't know if she, you know, was in a city or a country, but I felt, I see her digging a hole and when she's young and she was realizing, I don't want to live like this. So she made a conscious decision at that point to move away or to try singing elsewhere or to travel. I feel like she just kind of ran away. Don't know that if that's a case either. Um, But I feel like she ran, made a new life for herself because she didn't want to live that life that was sort of predetermined for her in this life. Um, And she said, I said, well, what are you supposed to, besides the love and friendship, what was this about? And she said, it was meant to be a quick trip here. It wasn't meant to be a long life, Um, which I found fascinating because I always think that that's, um, I've heard that when people get sick, they sometimes know, you know, they're here just to have these relationships in this life. But this one, I feel like when I get into her energy, she's saying it wasn't supposed to be a long time here. So maybe her soul already knew And she was doing as much as she can, as squeezing as much as she could into her very, you know, short flame out kind of life. I feel like I'm handing people things. I don't know if she was generous with her time or money or I feel like she wanted to give. She needed love. Yeah, I feel like she needed love like all of us do, but it was more of a desperation kind of thing. Oh, and she feels so good about the song she's saying and how they affect the public and they're still around. She's very proud of that. Um, I know she died back in the late seventies or something, maybe. And, uh, She might actually be back born in the late early 2000s or something. How is this queen or royal person connect? How is this learning about love, intimacy, relationship, feeling less than? Because in a royal, as a royal person, you're held up with great esteem, whether you deserve it or not. And this life was about her feeling that difference and learning how to love herself and to love others. And that intimacy, like I said, she's telling me, hug, hug everybody, you know, people that you love, especially those that you don't even know. She's like, there's so many people out there that are suffering that we can reach out to, even though we're nervous about, or we don't, I'm picturing homeless people or people, people on the street, people you don't know, or just look pretty ragged. And she, she said, they need it more than anybody. It's a very sweet heart. I feel like her heart is very loving, kind, and very fragile, very fragile. Like it's barely pumping. Like it was so, um, sadly, you know, hurt. I mean, I don't know what this means. Stand up for what you believe in. And sometimes it's not popular, but always go with love. Always go with love, she says. I don't know. It's very interesting. And that past life, like I said, the queen. She says, I already know how to be rich. I already know that. So it's not a big deal. I don't care about that anymore. The more important thing is that we love each other. And we bring the light of God down into all of us and spread it around. Um, Whether it's through just hugging or talking or 
creating or speaking um, or listening even, create cooking food, whatever that is, is show how you care for others. Oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. Okay, there's Janice Joplin. Wow, 10 minutes. How did I go there? Time passes so quickly. Jim Morrison, the doors, the doors, the doors. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm rubbing my hands. I don't know why this is happening. Picturing the Doors album cover, San Francisco. He's another one. He didn't want to go, but he didn't have to stay. Oh, I feel like he's a very deep, like she was more ab above ground. He's like very deep, like hidden. Um, I don't know if he was a Scorpio, but I feel very hidden. Like he didn't show himself hardly at all. Even now, it's hard to get to help to understand. He's very... It's like down this way. Oh, he's still healing. I can't believe it all this time. He's still on the other side healing. He had a lot to learn this time around. And you know, when we pass, we go to this school up there where we take the lessons and your, um, the Council of Light will go over what you learned, what you could have done better, how you can move forward, um, and your soul takes the lessons and you go to a new experience eventually with your spirit family making choices in your soul contract. But between lives, you um, take, uh, you learn about how to heal because some of the stuff that happened to your soul on earth and to the fraction of light that you are, you absorb that and you have to heal that, that um, experience. And it's, a really beautiful thing but sometimes you really need it I had my birth father I felt like he had to redo a lot he had a heal a lot of healing I think he's might be still up there but Jim Morrison I do not feel like he's down here yet I feel like he has a lot to to there was a lot of deep stuff that what were you supposed to be doing here I see him driving why is he driving um, I feel like I'm shifting gears and I'm driving. Um, he wanted to race, not race, but live fast. Feel the wind in his hair. He's like in a convertible. Move fast, live life fast. So fast living, you know, cliche, but that's what he was here to do why why would you need to do that um extreme he's a man of extreme super extreme he needed to do everything like it's very deep extreme dark extreme but also out in the real world 3d world extreme drugs and moving fast and experiencing a million things did you think you were going to be here long not real long he thought maybe his 30s which um, I don't think he made it that far oh it's dark it's like he had to experience dark things here he had a deep intense dark things here so that comes across in his music, I think, um, in the Doors music. I don't know how much he wrote, but how he sang. But and he, it's he touched into that deep place. It's kind of poetic, you know, poetry and art. They touch those places you can't verbalize. Um, although he had songs and they were verbal, <laughs> but the way they're poetry, you know, lyrics. And so he he felt those or he sung those in a way that people felt deeply, but a lot of them are, I don't know. I'm not even thinking of any particular song. I'm just saying whatever they were triggered people 
in people in in a deep sensitive kind of dark place it didn't make it darker he just triggered that um to for people for self-acceptance like i'm not you're not alone kind of thing i get you um why was he here why are you here jim see a farmer like he was a farmer before like green cr crops um, before this life feel a sense of frustration with this farmer like that's all he does is he farms and he doesn't have a choice and if things go slow and he lives a soul, slow life. But there was a desire when he was young to do a lot of things, but he didn't. He just did the responsible thing and kept the farm. But he was really scared. He was really scared to branch out, this farmer dude. And it's a man. Um, but that was Jim Morrison's previous life. He He was this slow kind of frustrated person who ended up dying bitter and angry because they didn't do they were encouraged to get out and do things and build a life outside of this farm and respect all the farmers out there that's a hard life but he uh didn't so so he came into this life zero to 60 and 30 point two seconds like he started fast so he was not going to let up that's the feeling I get Jim Morrison so the music was part of that what do you want people to know be yourself don't take no for an answer be willing to um What's the word? Go through boundaries. Eliminate boundaries. Um, you don't have to go to extremes like I did, but be willing to listen. Otherwise, you'll overdo it. The pendulum will swing too far, kind of like he did, because he was all pent up from previous times. You know, it's funny. I could see him older. Jim Morrison, like if he didn't die, I could see him older getting settled down like a politician or something. Isn't that weird? <sighs> but I did see him. He just emptied his life of all of that desire and all that pent up gung ho ness that he didn't get in that life with being a farmer who died bitter and angry and an alcoholic. And he hit people around him. Oh, no wonder he was dark. Um, you were free. Jim Morrison is like, be free. Be free. Because if we're all free, if we're all being our authentic self and all free, the world would be a better place, he says doesn't mean you have to break all the rules or maybe some rules he's saying some rules we'd all humanity would be in a better place because we would be happier instead of living by these rigid things that are you know tribal rules that are that we have to yeah so he was meant to do this so what are you doing now you have a lot of healing yeah he's like I still am recovering from the farmer life he's like then I did this life and it didn't heal all the stuff from that life that he wanted it to it still had more to do there was a lot of pain in that guy's life and Jim Morrison's life was to try and feel better be free to feel release, but he still had that dark spike that went down and um, he still has more healing to do. 
Thank you for coming and talking to us. Does he have a child? I don't know if he has a child. Probably doesn't. But I feel like I see a, a little boy that he's over, like still here watching. I don't know where that is. I could be totally wrong because I don't feel like it's a girl. Tower. Hmm. He doesn't want the same thing to happen to them that it, he feels like, well, they won't. They won't because they didn't have your soul. No, they won't. So page of cups, some child with a dreamy, very dreamy, maybe a Pisces or something like him that's very sensitive yeah interesting all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming by I traveled to old music scene <laughs> ah. uh, so if you guys have any more suggestions for me I'd love to hear them uh, I feel like I need to go take a bath in a way because <laughs> I feel energy And um, not that he was bad. It's just, yeah, got to get out of that place. All right. Till next time, you guys. Take care.